Josiah Ray. And I'm going to talk to you about whether or not you need to manually change your IP settings to connect to a wireless router or uh, change your address. So your IP address is basically something that your computer has that is unique, like your street address. So when stuff's coming through the router, which is like the mail office, it knows where that stuff is supposed to go. So you've got, if you ever wondered how you have four computers connected to a router and you're all watching different movies and how it knows which computer's watching which movie, your address is how it figures that out. Usually you really don't want to change this. This is kind of an advanced topic. If you mess this up, you won't be able to get online. In fact, you won't be able to go anywhere. And so when I'm going through this, I'm also going to show you how to kind of fix it if you've accidentally messed it up. Although on a side note, if you've got a printer, a lot of times those printers will need to be manually configured, but that's a different topic altogether. So here I am inside of Windows 7. I'm going to go to the Start menu and into the Control Panel. And I'm going to open up the Network and Sharing Center. And let's click on Change Adapter Settings. And right now, I don't have my wireless enabled. I can enable it, and it, it won't find any networks right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to go right-click on it and go to Properties. And it gives us a whole mess of different things that we can mess with. We really shouldn't be, but we can. Here's the uh, Internet Protocol, or IP, version 6. And so click on that and go to Properties. And you see that it is set to obtain the IP address automatically. Now, if you click on use the following address, which is the manual configuration, it also sets the DNS server to be manual. So your IP address is kind of how everybody knows where you live. The DNS is how you know where everybody else is. So now it's wanting to do both of those manually. This can really mess up your computer, like I said, and if you don't do this exactly right, and it's hard to do, then you won't be able to go anywhere. And not only that, you won't know where anybody else is. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch that back to obtain this automatically. You notice that the DNS server does not automatically go back, so we're going to do that as well. And that's a very important one to reset. This basically means that when you connect to a wireless router, it will automatically assign you address. It's got a block of addresses that came with your router, and it's going to divvy those up when computers connect to it. So if you set one manually and it doesn't line up with an available address, then you're kind of out of luck. You're not going to be able to go anywhere. So it's really important to leave that to be automatic. I hope you've enjoyed this video on whether or not you need to manually configure your IP address to connect to a wireless router. I'm Josiah Ray.